This next uh, next story today comes to us from uh, David. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of gross. We're gonna switch over to some uh, to some kind of funky news. Check out this headline. Venomous brown recluse spider removed from woman's left ear. Oh, man. So I used to live in Tennessee. I, I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. That is the capital of recluse spiders. And everybody was always really freaked out by them because a bite from one of them can be very brutal. Um, not all of them are as brutal as people make it out to be. Like people make it out like, oh, it'll like eat away your skin and then you're just a skeleton after a bite. It's not quite that severe. In most cases, uh, you're going to be okay. But in some cases, they have proven to be fatal. Uh, it's not something you want to mess around with. When I lived in Nashville, Tennessee, I never left my clothes on the floor. Why, Ron? Well, because that's where the brown recluse spiders, they don't want, they're called brown recluse spiders for a reason. They don't want to be around people. They're, they're like the misanthropes of the spider community. They like to just be on their own. They just like their record player with their Harvey P. Card comics and jazz music. And they want to be left alone. They're like, I know I got a fierce bite, daddy-o, but I don't want to use it. I don't want to use my fierce bite. That's brown recluse spiders. But if they're scared or they feel intimidated, well, then they'll bite you. They're like, look, you come into my territory. You try to take the needle off the vinyl, I will bite you. That's a don't take the needle off the vinyl and the brown recluse spiders will not bite, bite you. And actually, uh, what that's a metaphor for, do not, you, I said metaphor for, do that five times fast. What that really means is don't leave your clothes on the floor because here's the thing. They like to burrow in places. They're just, you're just burrowing animals, right, Lucy? They like to burrow. So they'll burrow like on your clothes on the floor. And then when you go to put the clothes on, let's say you're like, ah, there's a shirt off the floor, whatever. It looks clean enough. You put it on. Well, now they're scared because they're close to a human. They don't want that. They're going to bite you. That's how most brown recluse spider bites happen. You got close to them. She's purring. Can you hear it? This brown recluse spider talk is soothing you. <laughs> it's because I'm petting her. She had a nice morning, had a big breakfast, right, Los? All right. Anyway, all right, so here's the article. Somehow this got into a woman's ear, uh, and this is freaky. Let's see what happened. I've not I've not even, like, skimmed this article yet. I saw the headline, and I was like, oh, we're talking about it. This is nuts. All right, so a venomous brown recluse spider was removed from a woman's left ear. Here's some crazy. Check this out. The spider did not bite. The woman's name is Susie Torres, who woke up hearing a bunch of swooshing and water in my ear. Oh, my God. Ah, dude, this is making me uncomfortable. Oh, we might need to bail on this early because it's just freaking me out the thought of it. All right. A Kansas City woman woke one morning this week thinking she had water in her left ear. Oh, my God. It turned out to be a highly venomous brown recluse spider. There's going to be some people. This is going to be the first Get Your News On with Ron clip they ever watch. Uh, and they're going to be like, wow, is it always like, so he's seeing everything for the, yes, that's the, that's the uh, premise of the show. People tweet me the news and I'm going through it and we're seeing it for the first time. We're getting our news on together. Um, so this is my first time reading through this. David tweeted this because he's like, I want to see if Ron vomits on the show. That's my goal. <laughs> and I've met David in person. He came out to a show in New York. So David is testing is testing me here, and David, challenge accepted. We're going to get through this. All right. Wow. All right. So she thought it was just water. By the way, I have a theory. Some of you have heard me talk about this on the show before. I don't think my ears have ever properly drained in my lifetime. Uh, I always just feel a little bit clogged. I've looked up methods on YouTube, like the natural draining methods that you can do where you, like, hold your nose and you – anyway. All right. So – she thought it was just swooshing in water, turns out. Uh, so here's the way she described it. It felt it feels like when you went swimming. So she woke up, felt like she was swimming. Okay, when she went to get her ears checked, a medical assistant took a look, then ran out and said, I'm going to get a couple more people. All right, so you're in the doctor. You feel like you're underwater. You're like, what the hell's going on? Medical assistant goes, hey, we got to get some more people in here. You're freaking out already. Fortunately, she was able to go to the doctor, by the way. Uh, so anyway, the medical assistant then said, I think you have an insect in there. 
Oh, man. So it was a brown recluse spider about the size of the dime. A, a dime, that's what the way the article describes it. They had a few tools and worked their magic and got it out. The spider did not bite. The spider did not bite. Now, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the brown recluse, which is generally found in the U.S. South and the Midwest, Nashville, Tennessee, pretty much. Now, there is a lot of discrepancy out there. There is a lot of discrepancy out there over what is Nashville, Tennessee. Is Nashville, Tennessee the South? Is it the Midwest? That is the uh, million-dollar question, depending on who you ask. I feel like it's way more Midwestern than Southern. But uh, but it's got a little bit of both going on. And depending on who you ask, Nashville is the South or Nashville's the Midwest. Anyway, let's go through the article and see what else is going on here. So the brown recluse, generally found in the South and Midwest, cannot bite humans without some form of counterpressure, for, exam for example, through unintentional contact that traps the spider against the skin. Now, the venom of the brown recluse can cause a severe lesion by destroying skin tissue, which will require professional medical attention. You can look up those bites online. You can take a look at some of those bites. You, you can see pictures of it. Some gnarly stuff happens. And sometimes you can get fever-like symptoms. It's brutal. If this would have bitten her inside her ear, but chances are the brown recluse felt safe. I mean, again, they like to burrow. You can really burrow pretty solid inside somebody's eardrum. Right? All right. So let's see if there's anything else, like if they know how it happened. Now, they do bring up in 2018, another man almost lost his arm after being bitten by a brown recluse hiding in a fruit bowl. So, again, they're hiding. Like, they don't want to be around humans. They're not, uh, like, like they're not uh, militant creatures, if you will. They like to just be left alone. They like to burrow. So, they were hiding it. But sometimes they're like, oh, this is a good place to hide, somewhere where people are going to eat something. No, it's a really bad place to hide. They don't realize that, though, so now they got to bite somebody. Oh, man. So, Tories, here we go. We'll go to the end here. Tories, that's the woman who got bit, told KHSB she was now taking precautions before going to bed. I went and put some cotton balls in my ear last night because I did not have any earplugs. I'm pretty terrified of spiders. So, basically, it looks like it just climbed up into her ear hole while she was sleeping. Now, I feel like beds are not generally not somewhere a brown recluse spider would kind of migrate to unless there was something in there where they, I mean, maybe she, she kept like piles of clothes on her bed. So the brown recluse spider would kind of feel like, Oh, this is a good place to burrow. It seems like just a bed itself would not be somewhere they would really kind of migrate to. But now I'm terrified and I want to make sure I never have anything on my bed, not even pajamas. I just keep my pajamas, which is basically just a t-shirt. Usually I wear a pair of boxer shorts and a t-shirt to bed. So it's basically just a t-shirt. My fiance has her pajamas, which is just shorts and a, a t-shirt as well. Uh, and then we each have our eye masks. I'm thinking maybe that's too much. Although Lucy hangs out on the bed right now. So if there are, if there were to be any brown recluse, which they're not very common to California. Um, you know, I, I don't really think they're in California much at all. But I guess you never know. In today's day and age, I guess you never know. Um, maybe. But they're probably really scared of you, Lucy. And you hang out on the bed all the time. So keep hanging out there. Keep it up. All right. So anyway, I'm glad the woman's okay. I'm glad they were able to get it out. I'm glad that I uh, did not lose my breakfast <laughs> from going through this story. Uh, and thank you, David, for sharing that. That is some gnarly news. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? Get your news on with Ron, don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your 